Good evening, friends. This is Sanjay Agarwal. I am joined by Anuranjan Singh Dogra. So we see his work here behind me. Uh, so, sir, Anuranjan ji will talk about this. Uh, how does he get these work done? Sir, over to you. You can introduce yourself. Yes. Hello, hello, everyone. My name is Anuranjan Dogra, and I'm a graduate from College of Art. I graduated in 1996, and ever since I've been working with an advertising agency, first with Lintas, which is now Lo, then Yoro RSCG, which is now known as Havas, and uh, currently I'm working with Thinkster. So it's been a long journey with multiple agencies and lots of clients, lots of work. As in, you don't talk about this uh, AI, yeah. the art, sir. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, while, while we've all been working on various kinds of arts and how, how our journey with art started with cut paste, line drawing, hand drawing, paints, using all things which are used with hand. And then computers came in and then when computers came in, a lot of old ways of methods of working changed to, to new ones. And computers brought in speed, computers brought in flexibility, computers brought in new ways of doing things, new ways of looking at things. Then came in the internet age when everything was available quickly and we could transfer things, we could take things from others. Then in the modern age when a lot of work and things are being discussed over social media and through the quick, the internet has become very fast. So then the, the next level of development is AI, which Everybody knows that it's called artificial intelligence. And, and now AI, apart from being a part of various industries, has come beautifully to art also. Now we can generate beautiful images, photographs, drawings, paintings, animation. We can generate music. We can generate voices. So a lot of mediums from which, uh, in which AI is now helpful. So my work, if you see, I have generated images which were uh, totally generated on AI with absolutely nothing, blank canvas, as they call it, and, and with a few commands. Like, for example, this one is a cityscape made out of chocolates. And this is, this is a village scape made out of strawberries, strawberries and, a, and a river of strawberry flowing through it. And this one is a palace made out of ice creams and ice cream cones. So they were generated with absolutely nothing, just by giving commands, proper commands, with yes, of course, it takes multiple rounds, sometimes you might get it correct the first go, sometimes it takes multiple rounds, sometimes you might not even get the results because AI is still in a very generative and nascent stage, it's, it's still a baby, it's, it's not doing everything possible, but a lot of things are possible. So this particular campaign was done for toothpaste, as you can see, right. it's, this, this, this one is for the flavor of the toothpaste. And these are for for a kid's toothpaste. So ch children eat a lot of chocolates. Children yes. eat a lot of ice creams and kid, all that. We used to eat that toothpaste, you know. As a kid, we were in Bombay, so we used to get a toothpaste brand, and we used to, in fact, like I remember, Signal was there, and then Closer was much later. Was yeah. So Signal we used to do. So we just wanted to ask, like, uh, for a beginner, means if somebody wants to uh, dwell into this AI generated, then how does he go about? What kind of uh, system software does he need? Two kinds of uh, AI are available. One is you can install the softwares or the apps. The other one is totally which happens on the internet. And within that, then you have multiple uh, softwares or apps available to do either static images or you want to do videos or animation or music or voices or dubbing languages. So, while I have done it on a software which was downloaded, this, that's because it's a paid software and, and probably the best one as of now because a lot of softwares are available for free but they don't generally produce that kind of a result which you will love to see or show to people. And also, a lot of them are in their beta version, very trial versions by invite only. So, so you might not be able to use a lot of them, especially for getting an output which you can release or show it to others. A lot of them come with coding. So even if you want to cheat them and release or put your work on the social media, 
it will the original software will be able to track it and they can take you to task so it's best that if whatever you choose whether it's the free software which are online you can search them or if you want to do the paid one the good thing is that please don't cheat please don't cheat yourself because it can land you into trouble but if you search online on normal search engines you will find softwares as per your requirement which can which could be downloaded you want to say there are both kind of softwares one can be downloaded and installed which are generally the paid ones because then they are made open to the public the the online ones are not not mostly paid so so you just have to just keep on keep working online yeah you have to but, be net uh, but for both of them your net connection is important okay so it doesn't work because how ai generally works for especially for art is that you give a prompt or a command it searches the entire internet for the things you want to search for example if i said uh, a, a village landscape or a village made out of strawberry with a river flowing through it, type it in? yeah we have to type it in right. and give it uh, the command so when you press enter the software or the app or the online app searches the entire internet to look for a village a uh, sky it looks for how rivers flow through them how how it can make that river into a strawberry colored blue uh, pink river then it will search all the available strawberries then it will put all of them together as one image and generate it so that's why it takes some time but nowadays in a couple of days uh, last few days the softwares have been generated which are working real time so when if you type pink it will the screen will become pink so if you say pink cat suddenly the cat will become pink so why as you are typing so it, it actually ask you how fast can you type so, so this kind of software is also available but 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 the good ones take a little time because then they search the internet bring it all together they they match the angles perspective color lighting absolutely perfectly so even if you say yeah here the, 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 the zebras right? are playing zebras. Sin, uh, the keyboards the tigers are playing a guitar and and an elephant is the uh, drummer so this is an orchestra so this is what is generated now if if you look at all these images so this is a cyborg playing with a butterfly this is a cyborg which is a mix of electronics wires and nature so this is a cyborg who's swimming in on a beach so, so you, you the, the idea was that generally you cannot have these kind of electronics and electrics yes inside water right. but 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 you can generate now the beauty of all these is that all their lightings angles perspectives shadows they are all matching matching within the image so yes. it's not like that i took this one zebra from somewhere that one from somewhere so that so it, you it will give a command that you are getting three or you getting one single uh, yeah so that's yeah. how that's how the command is there so it's it says a group of a group rock of star. rockstar zebras playing keyboards okay so so we know rockstars have colorful dresses yes, we yes. know ro rockstars have colorful lighting headgear, behind them yeah. and their headgear and and if you see the the reflection of these yes uh, clothes on that so if if i do a cut paste like how conventionally people do it if i'll find one zebra and most likely the zebra will be either in a zoo or in in a landscape so the lighting and cut out will become from will be coming from that one but here if you see the in, the ai the software has combined the images the lightings the angles and perspectively perfectly to match and make one image so here also it's since i put them uh, put the cyborg in a natural environment it's taken a beautiful uh, light filtered through the trees so it's not like a studio light it's not even like a direct sunlight falling so it's it's matching the background if you see the background this, it's full of trees this one looks pretty original like the guy or yeah absolutely and and and, 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 and you see the eyes yes. the lighting falling on it the shadows that are forming are absolutely perfect but all generated on ai all generated and and nowadays even the older you know, softwares which we people use conventionally on our computers to do all the design and art they are also coming with ai every company is coming with ai you know, all, all your electronic companies all your even the um, 
blockchains, even the companies you will not think that they will ever come with AI are also coming with their own AIs. They, that might not be for art or to generate images or videos, but, but everybody is now using AI in some way or the other. So it's good that all of you please stay up with the times, start discovering, start learning things. It will always be good because in future, if, if you don't start now, then the time will be, leave you behind. And someday you'll realize that I cannot keep pace with what's happening in the world. So that's, yeah. that's very important. I wanted to ask you, like there were qu uh, several, a couple of questions which came to my mind. Uh, one was when you're talking about a license software, which you have uh, kind of paid for that. Yeah. So is it an annual subscription or is it a one time? And how expensive is that? And uh, secondly, like whatever the images are, what sizes we see, so once it comes into that, yep. the paid yep. ones, yep. Yep. so then we can generate any kind of uh, image and that's, uh, is it our, like uh, your work now, yes. suppose? Yes. So this, if I would generate on the same software, yep. will I be able to get the same or they will not? They will generate something different. Yeah, so the, the, the current softwares which are available, the the basic base level entry level subscription fee you can pay either monthly or you can pay annually because annually Single costs one time. yeah one time annually so how much annually. is it roughly uh, so i'll, I'll tell you I, 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 it, it costs approximately the cost of a large size pizza in the market <laughs> okay. per, month. per month so so I, I i i also took it that way ki, okay every month i'll cut down on one pizza it will add to my health also and and it will help me create new good things yeah. and and if you ask for things like copyright issues. The, most of these companies who are available for public, if, unless they are free or they are on their beta version, trial version, the ones that are open for public to use, they clearly tell you that whatever you generate is your copyright. So if somebody takes your work and puts it on air or releases it, then you... It's a violation. It's a violation. You can go and catch hold of that person. Right. They will not do it directly, but if you ask for their help, then they're ready to help you okay. to track it. And the second one was the th a question was, suppose yeah. you've generated this chocolate, yeah. now if I yeah. was sitting... Yes. Yeah. So, so in that case, what happens is, even if I give the same command again, forget you, if yes. I, if I give you, the same command, it won't. It, won't, it won't generate the same thing. Right. It will generate something else, which might be a similar city or a similar look. Something will be different. Because whatever it does is, it does not remember Ooh. the old image. It always follows the command. So when it follows the command, it will again say, it will search for chocolates, it will search for cityscape, it will search for multiple cities, then combine buildings from various cities, and it will take uh, chocolates of different colors and then create a new one. So similarly for all these images, most of the images are just done like that. There is another way to do it, if, if you want to create, for example, people do animation and they want multiple images so that they can be animated, or if you want to generate your own portrait, or if you want to say, yeah, I want to add more image to this, or add, expand this image, or I want, I, this is a lovely image, let me take this and generate something which is additional to it. Softwares are available. Most of the current softwares also, they have an option where you can take, put your image into it, and then ask it to generate from there on. So, so, so that's how most of the animators also do it. So they take generate one image, then they put that image back into it, change the angle or animation or whatever they want to do. If they want to change the lighting, or if, if it's a person, they want to change the movement. So they generate another image. Then from that, then they put that back into right. it. So, right. so you can do it yeah. multiple times. So then in that case, if you want, that is one way of taking this that if I, if I want to generate this image multiple times that is one way to do it but if you just keep repeating the command again and yeah, again it will generate a it, different it thing. will generate a different and thing. one more thing is since you just brought the subject about animation so when we talk about animation so suppose uh, i wish to create my own comic uh, characters and my own uh, a comic you know mm -hmm. suppose i bring out any character uh, so is it possible through this Yes. And then uh, with that software, what we have bought, will that be sufficient? Yeah. So, so there are multiple softwares. Most of the time, especially things like animation is a slightly complex procedure compared to generating still images. 
So what people do, they use a mix of a couple of softwares. So for example, if you want to generate a character, or if you want to get your own picture animated, or if you, if you do, if you say, I found a beautiful photograph and I want to animate it. So there's, most likely you'll have to generate that animation in one software, then take it to another one to give it a smoother action and bring it back. So, so it, it needs, so it, every software is not really fully perfect because this technology of generating images, videos through command has just started. Maybe in a couple of years or maybe, or, or even in two months, three months, maybe it happens overnight tomorrow because the world is changing so fast. Every day, something new, some new technology is coming, which is an advancement on the existing one. So, so it, it cannot happen today. It can happen tomorrow. It can happen in three months. But yes, as of now, there are softwares which are good enough to generate one or two seconds of animation from the characters either you generate or even if you put in your photograph and you want to animate it or make that person. Your own cartoon or something. Yes. Another thing was like when we were talking about, uh, this is about uh, still images, right? And you were also talking about motion. So one is that I generate this, then I give motion to this. Another thing is that you, uh, if we have a different software for motion creation, suppose I want to say polo match with, you know, so then how is it? Is it the same software? Yeah. So, so animation softwares are slightly different from the one that I'm using to generate static images. Polo, uh, uh, animation for AI. AI animation. animation for AI. Yeah. They are also They're different. different. They're different. Because then their algorithm, their programming is different. Music has a different program. Sound has a different program. Voices have different programs. So, so all their algorithms and programmings are different. So that's why there are multiple softwares and apps available. Now, if you, if you say that one particular software is incomplete for you, then you look for multiple ones. So that's how, and you can generate both images, which uh, animations and videos, which are absolutely real time, or that look like cartoons, or that look like animation films that you see on a movie or TV. So that's how they work. And uh, coming to the hardware part, if you're talking about Mac Mini, means ideally I feel that people who are using the Apple system, so some there some inbuilt softwares which don't come here with our Windows. So is there something like which you want to add to that portion? See, all these softwares are independent of the operating system. It doesn't matter whether you are on a PC or a Linux or Apple or Windows. They they operate as per the operating system that you're using. So it's not that one particular software or an app to generate AI is only dependent on one particular operating system. It's not like that. They are, they, they, since they all work on the internet, you still need, even if you install the app, you still need the internet to work. So all these softwares are just installed on your computer. It's good if you have a high-speed computer with better RAM, with better Who's space. The RAM, which is but 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 nowadays, eight GB is anyways the minimum RAM which any op operating software also is asking for. Is Sixteen is ideal. Thirty-two is like excellent for animation. Sixteen is good enough for everything. Anyways, if you see eight GB is anyways required by any minimum uh, operating software these days. So so that, that so beyond that. It's always good. It, the speed of generating videos or images depends on the current internet that you have, the internet connection. And uh, of course, certainly it depends on the speed of the machine. But but again, 8 GB is good enough to start all the work. And it's, uh, you can do it on your mobile devices as well or tablets? Yes, these most of them are uh, available for desktop, on laptop, on iPad, on pads, tablets, and on mobiles. Because in everything, all put together, the world is still on mobile phones now. And, yeah. and, 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 and everything that you generate, create, has to be compatible with mobile phones. So even if you do, you create your own softwares, or you create your own AI or images, all of them are available on all the platforms.
Wonderful. I think uh, we should thank Mr. Dogra. He's given such an enlightened... He's talked about uh, AI generating art. I recently... Uh, we were coming the Ram Leela before the Shara. And uh, I remember like I was uh, uh, for a portal making a story. And uh, I attempted one story. So I think that's what Master Trump must have done, taken the con you know, content from all over the what's available at yes. that point of yes. time. Yes. And then they gave the perfect story. Yes. And I did publish it as well. Yes. And I have not tried it the second time. So I think even I would like to try my hands. Yes. Uh, so lastly, we just want to know if the people would buy. And before that, you said those online softwares, which you're working online, yes. they, you're going to download them. So they will not give us the full uh, content. They will not give us the full uh, final product as what we see from the software which are bought. That, see, that, that happens because the software that you buy is generally has reached that particular level of finesse that it can now generate good quality images from various sources available. It can work independent of multiple softwares, it, it puts together the best of resources available with, at the best speed. The free ones, are, are, are most of the time, they're either trial versions, they yeah, are... Yeah, it'll be for a week or for maybe... Yeah, till, till the time, till the time they feel that it has become perfect. Yes. So they, they're mostly trial versions or they are by invite. By, so they, they'll find, okay, these are the top 10 best people who are working on AI. So they will invite those people and ask them to generate work. So it's, it's almost like how the influencers work. So it's by invitation or, or, or they are free, but, but the free ones will have their own limitations. Even though the software originally might be big enough to do everything, but, but the part which is freely available will be just enough so that people at large can do it with minimum effort, with minimum understanding or knowledge. But, but yeah, the, the paid ones have reached that particular level where they give you results almost as good as you want it. Sometimes they do create errors. There are such kind of errors which are like amazing. You know, they're, they're, uh, I, I've seen people with uh, three hands, four hands. So, so all kinds of things happen. But, but yeah, since it is generating the images or videos so fast, you don't get disappointed. Yeah, you can you can do it again. Talking with this, how much time would have ideally? Okay, taken after giving the command, after typing it yes. and giving the enter command, this takes 45 to 60 seconds only. Only, yeah, and it generates four of these options. Speed of thought. <laughs> speed of thought. Even, four yes. options at one go. Wow. So this image is not generated as one image. You'll get one, two, three, four of the same you mean zebras. Sayal? Sayal? Color? Four colors? It's, it's exactly the same command. Okay. Right. Three zebras right. In, a, in a different angle or perspective. Another s image. So, so it will be like this image and an yes. option to this one. Okay. And the, another option and right, four. Right. So, so most of them generate four or three. Mm. The, the, at yeah. least the paid ones which have become good enough for public to see. Yes. So then you can choose. Whichever, whichever works to. best. If it doesn't work, you can recycle and it will generate. And then people would edit them on the Photoshop also? You can. The, you see, and, and what happens is if, if, you, if you like it, you can download it. Okay. If you don't like it, you can... You're not then paying anything through. per click or something. Once you paid... You, you, you the paid software. for the subscription to yeah. use the software. Yes. Monthly or annual. Or that is just to use the software, not to download them. Download you have to they, pay they, again? No, not, not, to, not, to, uh, not for downloading. But what you pay for is... It's, it's something called the GPU, the General Processing Unit Time. So, so, for example, the one that I use gives me 200 minutes per month. Okay. And if it takes 45 seconds to 60 seconds to generate, so approximately I can generate 200, 200 images yes. in a month, which is good enough. And, and if you are uh, planning to take more, then you can go for the next subscription level, because all these softwares come with two or three levels of subscription. So if, if, if you uh, have taken the base one, the day I need, okay, my 200 minutes have run out. You can add. I, either, either I can add a basic amount yes. and it will give me another few minutes or I can buy the subscription at the next level. So it might cost me two pizzas. Yeah. So now I so, understand like why you were talking about the internet speed. Yeah. Because essentially if your internet so, is slow, 
it's it's not so so ha so it, that that might not uh, the the generation of the image is not be, uh, dependent on your internet okay. your uh, it what is dependent on your internet how fast the command goes from your side to to the to, the, to their server yes. and from their server to come back right. as an image but but the time taken which is 45 to 60 second is how quickly the server at their company generates the image right so that is not dependent on the speed which you are working on the servers which are uh, which images they are generating so they are they are, they are high speed they're high super speed. high speed they super imagine and there's no human. finding the entire internet yes. to find no what you want there's no human there's no human there, there, there's, there's no human all these are all automatic uh, that's why it's called artificial intelligence yes. because yes. it is all done through machines it's uh, you can't even call them machines because there are no moving parts also yeah. but but every every tool which is helpful in uh, speeding up the human process human works it's called a machine so so that's how they do it now what happens is if, now when it it will generate the image in that particular time you can download it if the one that you like you can upscale it you can make it large so this one originally it gives you an image which is like 1000 pixel by 1000 pixel and you can up this particular software can upscale it by twice by four times then you can download that particular image which is four times larger than 1000 pixel then you can send that image back again to them and make it okay. 2x and 4x larger than right. the second generation also so that again it's uh, so, chargeable so, that point Ah, so again, it is charging you the GPU time, which GPU is the yes. the, uh, the time that is it, processing yeah. it. And then there are softwares which are basic editing and images software. There you can enlarge them even further. There are then then you might uh, people who are using enlargements and uh, enlarging images will feel that what happens to the resolution or the sharpness of the image. For that, there is another AI software available. multiple of them multiple softwares are available you give this image to them and they'll make it sharp they, they'll maintain the colors so it's about going for a search essentially anybody wants to you know anybody wants to like experiment with ai generative art yeah. so he needs to sit on the google or whichever firefox whatever and then yeah. keep on searching and then find the solutions there yeah so what happens is that yes it will give you solutions you will probably have to try one or two softwares or multiple softwares to see which one is giving helping you the best you will have to see which one is fast enough you will have to see which one allows you copyright issues also make sure that don't generate something which has branding in it It's copyrighted existing copyrighted don't don't use products or things which are copyrighted because they can be easily tracked in no time absolutely no time because everybody has all these servers has your ip address and it takes yeah fraction it of, takes a fraction of a second to contact your exactly. address so those are the things so if if uh, if you want to generate good art use this this is the biggest tool that you have your brain that is the best thing that nothing beats it you might use a pen or a pencil or a camera or ai or softwares you can use your legs you can use anything you can ask three people to work for you but finally it's your brain yeah that which works, is doing the work which is doing the work so so a lot of people then question that computer has generated it what is the artist's input in this so again if you see even if you see painting if you see things around me which are yes. paintings generated by beautiful artists there are photographs around me again what they have done is imagination the, ha the biggest thing is imagination the biggest thing is what they think okay i can say green and 10 people will think 10 things out of green yes okay so somebody might think of a parrot somebody might think of a green apple somebody might just think of currency notes depending on how you've been brought up in your life so the but that is where art comes in it it's how you think how you put that thought onto paper or canvas or on the computer so the biggest tool that you have more than ai is your brain nothing can beat it 
So my, uh, I think it's been a wonderful talk with him. And Naruranjan, is, when he's talking about the uh, imagination of a person, the brain, so my last question is, Hindi mein karte, that jo aap bana rahe, whenever you're t- typing in whatever commands you're giving, so are you getting what you wanted? Like when we're talking about strawberries or chocolates, you know, or anything like this. So aapke us time mein, uh, is that kind of, your image has been, uh, you know, come on that? Uh, how close are you to your imagination? <laughs> it, it works both ways. Sometimes accidents are beautiful. They are much more beautiful than what you have thought. Okay. Accident generated electricity for human mankind. It was lightning, somebody caught the lightning and we know that we can now trap electricity. So sometimes uranium was discovered by accident. Marie Curie left her lab in the, at night. Next day morning she discovered that it's glowing. And we all now use enough atomic energy to generate our electricity and, and multiple things. So, so it happens both ways. Sometimes the images, this one was generated at first go and it was so wonderful, I had nothing to do with it. Just save it and it works. This one generated me four beautiful portraits. I chose one, then I extended one. I, I, I kept giving that same command to that same software. It gen- kept generating multiple faces similar to this one and I chose one of the best ones. Sometimes it generates, like I told you, a hand coming out of the stomach or, or, or something fuses with something. Yeah. Because, because, again, it, it is at a very basic stage. Sometimes it understands things. It depends on how it has been programmed. Sometimes it doesn't understand. So, so sometimes disasters happen. Yes. Sometimes wonderful things happen. It all depends on how you accept it. Sometimes it can take 40 times to generate one beautiful image the way you want it. But that's how it is. At least generating it 40 times, spending 40 minutes generating it is easier than cr- trying to do art. Which nothing wrong with that. Due respect, I'm an artist. But you can't make 40 mistakes yes. creating art manually. Especially when you are in a profession which is like mine, which is advertising, which is like communication, which is client driven, which is time driven, which is release driven. So that's how it helps. So it's speeding up the work even faster. But again, always remember, it's never the machine. It's always the person behind the machine. Up technology ko achhi tarah se use ki jiye, abuse mat ki jiye, aur technology ke gulam mat baniye. Wonderful. I think uh, in ki jo akri and beech mein bhi jo bhi nohne emphasize kar raha which normally when I do any interview I say that uh, anything like we have to not to copy and you said about piracy jo bhi whatever is attached to this so we should be as original and uh, means uh, jo human mankind hai uska like you said abuse we should not abuse our positions so it's a wonderful thing and uh, today I just wanted to add for the people who are watching or going to this uh, recently, I was in an event, so this girl, you know, she's uh, incidentally from my college itself, Shriram College, and she has developed a system where uh, which the reporters, the media houses were taking 40 hours to get that report, so they generate in about six minutes. Yeah. So that is the same thing what you said. Yeah. Means if Modi, uh, she was given an example, if Modi ji ka G20 presidency, ka bolna, so you know, that keywords they'll give in and then it will take who are reporters who are typing now. So I think everything is, uh, today you have to be very careful in that, what I'm trying to say. Uh, even my systems or my mobiles which are left unattended, or even in my pocket with my wife I own, I've been told that uh, anybody so, can switch yeah. on anything. So AI is tracking all that. There are different kinds of AI. Some of them are used beautifully. Some of them are used for help. Some of them are used for doing wrong things also. But but. As we all know, all our lives are now connected to internet and internet is connected to AI and vice versa. So, so yes, be careful about things. It's a wonderful life. We all have a bright future. Don't get scared of it. Live with it. Our human life has always evolved. We started with the stones. That was the first tools we ever used. We came down to uh, wheels. We came down to cars, aeroplanes. We've come down to computers, 
we'll we'll keep uh, doing good things yeah so i think jo ne bola i want to just add finally uh, that uh, you should uh, people should come to the ifix gallery also since we are at the ifix gallery where we met this young gentleman and today he's delivering a workshop at 5 so uh, anybody will be trying to record that and we'll uh, try to present it to you thank you this is sanjay agarwal